South Korea reported its first coronavirus case the very same day as the U.S. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Surveillance is not quite the term that I would use uh, in the tracing. The tracing is... South Korea reported its first coronavirus case the very same day as the U.S., January 20th. But South Korea has kept its infection and death rates much lower than we have, reporting about 11,000 cases and fewer than 300 deaths. And the country is now up and running. We bring in South Korea's foreign minister, Kang Kyung-hwa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we wanted to pick your brain on a number of topics related to coronavirus because the response in South Korea has been so widely applauded. Strategies like screening people who entered the country, drive through testing, disinfection protocols and contact tracing. Do you think that South Korea's strategies could work in the U.S.? And even if they could, do you think that perhaps it's too late for Americans to adopt them? Well, I think, uh, first of all, our country has never been closed. Uh, we've always kept society open and the border open. And we were able to do this because we had the three T's, uh, the testing, treat, uh, tracing, and, and treatment, uh, a very robust system of the three T's. I think the three T's are the key to any fight against any infectious disease. And it just so happens that our recent experience with the MERS outbreak in 2015 uh, laid the seed for the success this time. Our response to MERS in 2015 was not that laudable. There was lots of shortcoming. But having learned from that experience, we beefed up the disease control infrastructure and the legal framework. And, and that has really been uh, put to the full test and successfully, I must say, this time. And in addition to the three T's, part of South Korea's strategy for isolating coronavirus cases early on relied on government surveillance. Did you ever have any concerns about privacy rights? And how do you see that balanced against protecting public health? So, uh, surveillance is not quite the term that I would use uh, in the tracing. The tracing is absolutely necessary to track down the patients and the close contacts as early as possible to isolate them so that you are then able to preserve the freedom of movement of the rest of society, i.e., in order to keep society open, it's imperative that you quickly isolate and quarantine the patients and the close contacts. The privacy issue comes in because of the information that we release to the public about the movement of the patient. Our uh, disease control uh, law also guarantees the public's right to know about health issues that af affect them, that it is a government responsibility to inform the public about the evolving nature of this infection and the movement of the patient. Informing the public about where the patients have been prior to being confirmed as positive so that they can see if they cross path with the confirmed patient and decide for themselves if they need to come forward and get tested. So the privacy issue of the patient is the, is the issue here. And we've been very cautious to limit the information that is provided to the public about the movement of the patient. I want to move on to education for a moment. After a few false starts, South Korean schools began reopening just this week. Uh, we see in some video students that are wearing masks and plexiglass screens around the desks and temperature checks. How confident are you that schools will be able to remain open with these precautions? No, we've uh, took the decision to open the schools 80 days after the, the, they were supposed to open in March. Uh, the value we place on education is perhaps the highest uh, of, of any country. And it was extremely important that we get the school schedule back on track. Um, so we have decided to open the schools, beginning with the final graders in high school. And that was yesterday. Uh, but we made sure that all the sanitary measures were in place, uh, the requirements on the part of the, the students themselves, the schools, um, 
uh, make sure that the social distancing measures are, are well in place and also protocols in place in case anything happens. And as you talk about, there have been uh, recent outbreaks. Um, for example, there was a recent COVID-19 cluster linked to a 29-year-old man who visited several nightclubs on one night. How concerned are you about this kind mm -hmm. of spread and how are you able to get it contained so quickly? Well, I think with any spike like this, of course, it's it's a concern, it's a worry. And that particular case has now led to nearly 200 cases over a matter of 10 or so days. Um, and, and this is uh, all originating to some nightclub activities uh, during the long holiday period in early May. Obviously, uh, the nightclub activities involve a lot of young people who hop bars, I think it's the expression, uh, move around the country. And so that has meant we found infections related to the club activities in all parts of the country. I think once again, our testing and tracing capacity was put to the test. It quickly ramped up. Uh, prior to this spike, uh, the daily testing numbers were around 5,000 or 6,000. 6, After this spike, um, we've made it uh, uh, the testing available anonymous and, and free of cost because we realized that many young people who frequented these establishments would be reluctant to come forward to get tested. So to make it anonymous and cost-free, we've been able to test well over 60,000, I think, uh, cases over the past 10 days. And that then had led to uh, this number of confirmed uh, cases, um, both who went to the, the establishments themselves, but secondary infections uh, of their family members, their friends, and, and, and uh, workplace colleagues. And, and so that actually was gonna be my next question is, uh, that's when we are most this is an important move to address part of um, the later activity for the Koreans. Uh, Thank you, Minister, so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.